what it do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. And it's Maha. Welcome back to another video. Anyway, this weekend we're going to two football games. The first game is UNCC versus William, William and Mary. And the second football game is... North Carolina A&T versus North Carolina Central. Exactly. So the first one we're going to is the UNCC football game. And UNCC is a PWI. So is William and Mary. Yes, a predominantly white institution. And the second game we're going to are against two HBCUs, what historically black colleges and universities for all you like. And universities? Them. Yeah. <laughs> is historically black college. And, oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to look that up. Anyway, fact check me guys. But we're gonna go to these football games and basically point out the differences between a yes. PWI college football game versus a HBCU football game. And yes. we're gonna rank each thing by certain category. So the categories are... The first one is the band. We gotta know if they playing some good music or not. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Cause the band gotta be rocking. If the band not rocking, then what the heck going on? If you're not rocking, we not rocking. Exactly, Am I right? Exactly. The second one is football team swag. Yeah, the football gotta be swaggy. The football team gotta be swaggy. We gotta see the uniform, what they wearing, who's the best. We Both teams though, we gotta figure out who's what they wearing and what how they look we're gonna rate that like all four teams well, yes all of them together yeah yeah and then the third one is the cheerleaders yeah we gotta see what the cheerleaders working with you know what i'm saying exactly the fourth is fans fans this yeah. is a good one the fans is the one of the biggest ones we yeah. gotta see how big or how rowdy they are at a pwi and a an hbcu and how loyal they are to their teams facts, too facts facts because when people we don't want no bandwagoners people gonna leave when people lose exactly so we're gonna see how the fans are on both sides of the yep all right the last category we're ranking on is the loudness. Yes, the loudness and how loud the fans are in the whole stadium. Yeah, how, if how, you hear a roar in the stadium or anything like that. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Obviously, we'll tell our overall experience at yep. the end of it all. Exactly. And I'm excited because I haven't gone to an HBCU football game. So this is a big rival. Yeah. Rivalry game. Rivalry, yep. Game. And you know what's crazy? I've never been to a football game at Bank of America Stadium either. Right now we're headed to the UNCC versus William Mary game. UNCC is my alumni. I am a Go alumnus. Niners. So, you know, I already know Charlotte's going to break the intensity, but I know tomorrow's game is going to be pretty crazy. So, Facts. So Yeah, they are pretty loud. That's okay. The, uh, that's the student section. Okay. So we're finally here. Charlotte's losing 10 to 3. The band's playing. You might have to speak a bit louder. You can't hear? I mean, just in case, there's a lot going on. Swagger. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to play the killer bees. <laughs> it should be. regardless because it's just clean cut but against the green and the gold it's it's not given too much i don't is that green it's a weird green compared to charlotte's gear i'm just like eh. i give it i give it a six out of ten i give will and mary a five out of ten for their uniforms and their swag yeah charlotte got the beat when it comes to uniforms and swag yeah all right giving right now. Being on the Niners side ain't, ain't looking too hot also right now. Not I think if we start winning, yeah. the, thing, the momentum might change. Everyone's going to be hyped. But right now... It looks like all the quarterbacks are injured. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's just talking facts. So the third string oh. quarterback is in now. So I hope he does well. Oh! oh! He actually came up with a 
pass and complete that pass. They're getting back to it. Cheerleaders just really just standing there. I think they have a halftime show, the dance teams. That would be easier to rate. I think we're gonna come back. Super salty. I shouldn't be eating nachos. I got a pretzel. I think Charlotte's making a comeback. Oh! They almost got picked up. Stressful. All the band out of ten, I give them a six. I give it a five. A six. Only I give it a five because they're playing Marvels or what? But they sounded good. Yeah, they sound good. So far, what do you give the fans? Oh, the fans. Um, we'll give it at the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, I give it at the end. Out of ten? Yeah, out of ten. Seven and a half. It wasn't bad. I thought they were good. I give them I give them a seven out of ten. Twenty-six to twenty-four. <laughs> we're down. Nine minutes left in the fourth quarter and we're back to where we started. Charlotte, uh, I don't know. 24 to 41. Yeah, Charlotte lost. Overall experience at this game, it was all right, you know. I give it a... Out of 10? I give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Wow. I love Charlotte, though. I love my alumni, but this game wasn't lit, man. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, tomorrow should be exciting. That's yes. what we're really excited about.
they have more people. Yeah, I give them an 8 out of 10. Easily beat Charlotte. Ten. 10 out of 10, yes. Okay, if it was a true battle of the bands and the bands actually competed, not football, Aggies yes. would have blown them out the water. But both of them were really good, like The fans were elite, facts. 10 out of 10 both sides. Bro, you're gonna see, uh, uh, you probably already saw it. The, the, the Mexican wave, you're gonna see the wave, and tell you me already why they saw did the it. wave. You already they saw did the it wave. in slow motion. They're That's talking crazy. About you're going to see the wave. You already saw the wave. Oh yeah. This is the outro of the video. Oh, yeah. of the team and their. A and T was good. They, yeah. I give them a nine out of ten. So I give yeah I give A and T an eight out of ten. The dancers dope on both sides. Like dope. They really knew how to draw in the crowd and everything. I think overall for my first HBCU college game experience, like it was. It was great. Overall experience, give it a solid 9 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10 is good. The HBCU game was definitely better than the PWI. Yeah. Let us know um, in the comments what other videos you'd like us to do, what other sports challenges you want us to do. Like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and let us know which one you liked more, the PWI or the HBCU. Facts. Until then, we're out. Bye. Peace.